All right, hey guys, uh, it's me. <sighs> wow, I feel really bad because this was question was asked oh, like a week ago, and I just now realized it, it was there. Um, but the person asked me to do a mage guide. Fortunately enough, I don't have to level up one, or else it would have took me longer to get this out. But I have a level 65 mage here, which is pretty good, because it will have the abilities that you'll be mostly seeing forever. So let's get into the uh, game here. While we're waiting, I'm going to tell you right now, I suck as a mage. I really do. <laughs> I'm probably going to be like the worst mage you've ever seen, but at least I know how to play with and what you should be looking for on items, and maybe a little bit of skill-wise. Um, if you guys have any ideas on like to make the guy build better or something else, comment on it, on this video, and... Uh, let everybody else know. Wow, hold on a second. I need to get used to this. Which way is town? Okay, there's town. But what the hell is this? What? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I haven't played this game in forever. Oh my goodness. I haven't played no in a while. Uh, my girlfriend's been sick. I need games that are pause and just get away from so this is not that game especially when you get much later uh... let's let's just go through the spells and items real quick while my game just my game in my mind catches up with everything okay let's see alright so my equipment blows but i can tell you guys what to look for and everything else in just a moment stat wise these two. Uh, intelligence and spirit. Spirit gives you... Here. This will be better. Intelligence gives you magic damage. Uh, just like strength gives you uh, physical damage, it gives you magical damage. Um, spirit gives you magic resistance, crit chance, and SP, which is your mana. Which is good for a mage. Uh, magic damage because you're arranged, so there's a higher chance that you're gonna get hit by a spell on higher levels. Um, crit chance, so your abilities can crit. Yes, they can. I got a five plus five percent of crit chance, just an extra bonus. Um, these numbers might seem not like seems like much, but every little bit it counts. Uh, and. So I was like, I prioritized this more than that, obviously, because I like dealing more damage. Now, you can ignore this and just go straight up with that, but I'd rather just do like that, because it's good balance and everything else, and I really wouldn't suggest ignoring this completely. Uh, pretty much you want to look for these two on your items. Um, you want to prioritize these prioritize these two alright because you want to maximize maximize your damage output but if you ha if you can you, if you can find an item that has both of these and this like a E and D which is health and defense I would get it as long as these were a good amount in comparison uh, so yeah just prioritize these two this is just a bonus like that one I got really high intel like uh, intelligence off of it with also some spear and E and D for HP and like uh, resistances but everything the rest of my armor isn't that great now these rings aren't fantastic either they just give me a lot of intelligence uh... that's just terrible to say the least is this the best thing I had the same there just give me a lot of SP and everything else. So yeah, just look for these two on your uh, armors and like accessories and everything else. This is optional. It's a bonus, pretty much. But these two are your main thing. I'm pretty sure you guys get it by now. Alright, let's get skills. Alright, the thing I did is I maxed out Magic Missile. Now I did that because I decreased the cooldown on it so I could cast it more. 
because it does decent damage and everything else. And plus, I was at the time I was saving up for this so I could max it out as soon as I got it because I thought as soon as I got it it was going to be instant gas, but it wasn't. But I maxed it out anyway when I got it. It's not a long cast time for level one, I think. It says it has a cast time still. Oh, it's cool down. Oh yeah. So level one. Let's see how much, how long it takes to cast. Takes 0 0.6 seconds to cast. That's not that long. So it's still a good damaging spell. Everything else, but it doesn't come instant cast until 65, which is what I'm at now. So you guys have until then to max it out like I did, reducing the cooldown as much as possible and increasing the damage as much as possible. Now this is another one that you can optionally decrease the cooldown on it or not. Now this allows you to cast a spell twice, basically. Um, this, I would max out as soon as you possibly can get it. As soon as you possibly can. Because it does decent damage. And it's a really good spell. It does have a channel time, so it's um kinda like a basically if you have a mount, you can get on it and like grab a bunch of monsters and then run off to like pretty deep distance away, get off your mount, cast it, and then run around it. Uh it works better if you have a team like a a player person you can play with. Uh let's see. So this one and this one and this one are the only ones that have points in. Now I'll show you some if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to follow that. Uh this, this, and this aren't spells that are terrible, but you don't have to put points in them because they do decent damage already. And they're insta cast. They have a long cooldown, but they're alright. Now this one is another AoE thing, but it's specifically around you. And you don't want things on you, so... You can do whatever. This is only for PvP. Never use this. I don't, oh, wait, never mind. That one doesn't require any, anything anyway. That just gets rid of debuffs and curses. Uh, what was I thinking about that you never should use ever? This. It's right here. It doesn't give you shit for mana, and it takes way too much health. Maybe in a pinch, but you could just push Q and E, or just push E and get mana back when you really need it. So it doesn't even work in a pinch that way much. And the health cost like the cause isn't worth the effect pretty much the cause of it is you lose way too much health the effect is you get a little mana back I don't see the point that's why it's on my little sidebar uh... this is removes buffs from targets I suppose yeah so that's again only pvp uh... these are other spells this is a fear if you're in pvp this one you might want to put some points in, but you can also you can use it in a pinch or something if you're fighting one monster and it's on top of you or something. Uh, this one has a cast time, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, and it does a lot of damage already. What you want to mainly focus on is your AOE and your insta cast. Those are the things that are going to save you. Those are the things that are gonna allow you to kite. Is your insta cast or gonna allow you to, you to kite the monster effectively? Pretty much just the the magic blast thing. So you can kite this gang, keep it a good distance away from me, and kill it. Without it really hitting me. Now this is how you're gonna solo, pretty much, unless you have a mount and some really good armor. You may take a few hits, but it's okay. Now, you can probably take a small room, like a very small room in an abyss or something, or you can sit out here and grind. It's up to you, really. Uh, 
you might be able to do this a small room in the 70 or just take the hallway or like do a little bit in the hallway but if you have like a teammate just like it doesn't even have to be a friend of yours just some random person uh, just to join you that can take a couple more hits than you can or if you just have another mage you can uh, kite you can grab a bunch of people try to make sure they're all melee because if it's another range mob it's gonna rape you uh, maybe not one but if there's like two or so it's gonna hurt especially if there's one that can slow you it's gonna hurt quite a bit uh... it's really hard to solo as a mage so i suggest having a friend or something um, or just talking to the people in town or whatever but it can be fun sorry about that it, it can be fun i had to scratch my ear of course it had to be the ear the mic's on um, it can be fun it can be annoying just take some time because I'm getting used to. Like, I'm only using one spell because I suck at everything else. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can, uh, find one little guy and I'll pull him and show you guys Nova. Now, I have Nova set up on my spacebar because I don't really care about the jumping. And this makes it easier to cast it. See? I can just, uh, run, push spacebar, and I don't have to move my fingers over or anything. It just makes it easier for me. Do whatever it makes it easier for you guys. That's all that really matters. Okay, so I'm going to drop this down right here. Oh, I failed miserably. So I'm going to take a hit or two. See, it hurts when they hit you. <laughs> now you just want to kind of run around the outside of this. See? I actually got my quest item. Holy crap. I'm not that rusty, at least. Alright, I'll do it one more time. Maybe this time I'll have a little bit more success. Success. Okay, hit him. Run over here. Drop it down. Did I kill him? Did I one shot the guy? I certainly hope not. Go on. Jerk. Right. Oh god, that hurts so much. So I wouldn't advise that doing that unless you have a mount or you're really fast or just having friends or something let's show you guys the double cast alright so I'm gonna go ahead and activate this ability now this is what this is gonna do is let me cast a spell and then it's gonna let me cast a spell pretty much instantly which this guy didn't die so I'm gonna sit here and fight him yeah come on come on fool you ain't got nothing Whew. a few more hits and I died probably like two hits <laughs> Super Squish! Alright, so there you go. There's your guide, guys. Um, like I said, just team up with somebody that can take a hit. So, like, a mage... Uh, not another mage. Um, a warrior or a cleric. There we go. This is the tip of my tongue. Another cleric. A cleric or a mage. Like, um, warrior. Another mage might help or another... Uh, or archer person because they can hit them at a range while you set up to drop your nova and then they can keep hitting them but I would stick with a warrior or a cleric because clerics can heal and keep themselves alive and warriors can just take more damage so they can run around grabbing a bunch of mobs and everything else I would suggest a cleric, to be honest. That's the best one. The best one to be with. Because they can grab everything, heal themselves while they're leashing. And then they can run towards you, you drop your Nova down. And then while their monsters aggro to you, you run around this. And then the cleric kills you every time you get hit. And you guys just make a perfect team. And if it's a really big mob and you got this up, just activate this, drop your Nova, then drop your Nova again in the same spot, and then kite them around the circle. And they're getting hit by both, and it does lots of damage, more than you guys probably think it does. If you guys think it does a lot of damage, I love you, because it does. But that's enough for me today. I need to get going.
pigment. I almost had a drink. <sighs> Nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> now I'll leave it in there just for you guys. My little tribute to you guys. What is wrong with my drink? I guess it got warm. Oh well. Huh. <sighs> This is good. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. And, uh... I'm tired. Later.